to my channel so today I wanted to give you a prom tutorial like I said that I was going to do so this one is just like super simple and bronzy and um yeah it will go with any dress that you have to be honest and I just wanted to keep it super simple on the eyes and focus on eyelashes and skin like the highlight is on another level to be honest people and I just wanted to focus on lashes and yeah, like I said, I wanted to focus on super bronzy, glowy skin because I feel like for prom this year that is what the focus is going to be. It's going to be lashes and skin, so I just showed you how to get. I also drew some inspo from this picture of Kim Kardashian because I got requested to do a makeup look on this look. But obviously it's super, super simple, so I wanted to sort of tie that into a prom tutorial. Um, so yeah, I sort of drew some inspo from it, but I also put my own swing on things. I made the... Um, eyes a little tiny bit darker than she has and put some more shadows on and stuff and yeah there's not much else to say this is just a really easy look and if you want to see how to get it then just keep on watching so I feel like for prom this year the main focus is going to be on skin and eyelashes I don't know why but I feel like in all makeup just now it's main focus is on like big eyelashes and like glowy skin so I'm going to start off with this Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer which is just like a smoothing primer. I'm only gonna take like that much, it's only about half a pump. This stuff's really quite thick and um, if you put too much on it, it'll probably give you a bit of a white cast on your face. So I'm gonna just focus this right in here. And please excuse, obviously I've got tan on my body and not my face, so that is why this is happening. It's not a good look. <laughs> To fix that, obviously you want to match your foundation to your neck and not your face. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I really recommend this if you're thinking of going to prom or for like if you're a makeup artist and you do weddings and stuff because it's obviously geared towards film and pictures and it's not got any SPF and it will also just sort of um, make your skin look really good in pictures because that's what it's for. So yeah, I'm taking about two pumps of that foundation. It's quite liquidy so it's not going to be too thick on your skin. And I'm going to dot that around my face. I'm going to use a beauty blender because I want to make my foundation look nice and airbrushed as well as picking up any excess product. So for concealer I'm going to be using a mixture of the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light as well as the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 20 which is just a darker colour. So I'm going to put a couple dots under my eyes because it is really full coverage so it's going to help cover up any darkness that you have under there and then pop that on any blemishes and stuff and then also it really helps to keep my foundation on in this sort of area because that's where I have trouble with it so I'm going to put a couple of lines there and then before I blend that out I'm going to put a couple of stripes of the Fit Me concealer Once I've got that done I want to go in and set my face now I don't... I'm going to use my RC Amino colour powder but I don't really want to bake um, because I don't want to risk getting any flashback so I'm going to just pour some of this out I'm going to pick some up on the brush that I always use just this little double ended brush and I'm going to pick up a good amount so I'm going to tap that under my eyes I'm just using tapping motions because you don't want to lift away any of that coverage and then I'm also going to set quite heavily here because like I said I have issues with my makeup coming off there and on my nose like I said I don't want to risk any flashbacks so and I'm going to take the dual fibre brush from Real Techniques and just more of that powder and I'm going to tap that sort of in the contour areas and then blend it in so I'm just sort of using like a light dusting of powder which is just going to set the makeup but it's not going to um, look too cakey or too heavy so once I have done that I'm going to go in with a bit of bronzer just all over my face quickly because this is because looking at this in the monitor is sort of giving me a bit of a fright <laughs> I did put some bronzer on my neck and stuff because my fake tint is coming off a little bit so I'm going to just use to give me some so I'm just going to go and do my eyebrows off camera because you've seen me do my eyebrows before and honestly it's nothing to excite yeah, I don't feel like you need to see my, me do my eyebrows 500 times so I'm going to just go off and do them off camera and then I'll be back to show you how I'm going to do a sort of eye look so like I said before, I'm working from this picture of Kim Kardashian. Obviously she doesn't really have too much going on in the eyes, so I'm going to zoom you in. Let it glow. I'm going to be working from the Violet Boss Holy Grail palette, looks like this. And I'm going to go in with that first shade, which is that transition colour. I'm going to take that and I'm going to focus it mainly up here in the crease 
but also bringing it down and bringing it all over the eyelid and sort of out a little bit because we need to create that sort of almondy shape. So then next I'm going to go in with the shade Are You Kidding Me? which is just sort of like a warm medium tone brown. That on a Morphe M441, just whatever sort of fluffy brush you have. And again I'm going to focus it right up in here. I'm going to mix together hashtag and brownie points which is on opposite ends of the palette just because I don't want it to be too dark and I want to make it a little bit warmer. So I'm using a Zoeva 224 and I'm just going to really focus that just on this outer V. Like I said I don't want this to be too dramatic so just a tiny little bit. To be honest, there's not really any colours in this palette that really matches the shade that she's wearing on her eyelids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the shade Toffee, that colour there, which is just like a nice gold. But I'm going to take it, I'd normally take this on a really um, flat packing brush, but I'm going to use it on a slightly fluffier brush. So I'm just going to pick that up there and swipe it down the eyelids. Now the foils in these palettes are so good, so if you're looking for good foiled eyeshadows then these are very good. So I'm going to take that sort of all over the eyelid because she looks like she has some shimmer up there as well. So I'm going to take this first and then to make it a little bit brighter I'm going to take the palette I'm going to use to highlight. So I'm going to take the Sun Dipped Glow Kit. I'm going to use the shade Summer that like champagne gold. This is going to lighten it up a little bit because this is like sort of like a too dark of a gold. I don't really want it to be this dark. She's in the same brush but the other side. Any sort of like champagne gold colour that you've got will do for this look. You don't have to mix the two colours, it's just because that's what I've got. So then I'm going to go in with a MAC 266 brush in the shade Teddy Bear, which is just that sort of plummy brown. And I'm going to use that to sort of um, line my eye, because I don't want to do a line of eyeliner. I'm going to start by stamping it on the outer corner. And then I know I always use these eyelashes but I just love them so much so it's the Ardell Wispies and I just think they're so good for prom because they're so easy to put on with the clear band. And with eye looks like this when you're not wearing any eyeliner it's nice to have a really thin band on your eyelashes because you're not going to be able to see them and they're also just really fluttery and long and wispy and they're going to make you look very flirty and pretty. As you can see those eyelashes just like complete this look because they're really wispy and natural natural. So I'm going to go in and finish off the under eyes. She has got a bit more of a shadow underneath her eyes but as well it's just sort of really really natural. So I'm going to go back in with that brownie points and are you kidding me mixed together and just I've got glitter on these eyelashes. I'm going to mix those together and go right close to my eyelash line because I don't want to blow this out too much because hers is really really tight to that lash line and obviously you can do this with any palette I'm just using this palette because it's new and I just wanted to do a couple of looks with it once you've done that and you've got a sort of nice wash of a nice brown under there I'm gonna go back in with the angle brush and that teddy bear color and I'm gonna go right at my lash line I'm gonna look straight forward and stamp that along right under there because we're going to put a white in the waterline so this is going to really make that white eyeshadow stand out. I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of that teddy bear colour, like literally just a tiny little dab and blend that out just so it's not like a harsh line. Once I've done that I want to go in with a white eyeliner so I'm going to use Fascinating by MAC. It's an eye coal and it's just an eyeliner. So we're going to go straight in the waterline with this. So yeah, that is the finished eye look there. Obviously with any Kardashian look, you need to have long eyelashes on top and bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal um, Makeup Shayla's trick and I'm going to go in with the tattoo liner. And I'm going to just put some dots along my lash line. I always like to use a waterproof mascara on my bottom eyelashes just because um, I think it stays better and I don't want it to run obviously so I'm going to go in with my new fave which is the Maybelline Big Shot, uh, the blue one which is the waterproof one 
and yeah I'm gonna just put a couple coats of this on my bottom eyelashes so I'm gonna go back to skin and finish off I've turned my light down a wee bit because I feel like I'm using the natural light as well and I want to sort of show you my skin in a natural light I'm gonna go in with the shade and light palette from Kat Von D which has just got all these colours in it and I'm gonna use a mixture of these two first of all and I'm going to use a Morphe M530 which is like a fluffy contour brush and I'm going to hit up my cheekbones so then I'm going to go in and highlight underneath that like I said I don't want to do too much baking so I'm going to take a little bit of that translucent powder right at the back and then I'm going to go in with the peachy colour here and go right under that contour as well and that's going to just help to sort of sculpt that out And the blusher I'm going to use is Milani uh, Luminoso. Luminoso. So again, with that dual fibre brush, I'm going to go in with the Sun Dipped Glow Kit. And I'm going to take that shade bronzed. And I'm going to sort of go over everywhere that I've put bronzer. So just like sort of more so at the top of my cheekbones, but sort of over my blusher area as well and over on top of my forehead. I'm not picking up too much of this product because obviously we don't want to be, you don't want to look like you're sweaty. I'm going to go in with the Morphe M510 like I always do and sort of mix together like all of them to be fair. Like I really liked being used, I've really liked using these um, darker colours. I never thought that I could use them to highlight but I tried it once and it actually looked really nice. So I'm literally, <sighs> the good thing about having palettes like this is you can mix it all together so why not? And then I'm going to apply that to my cheekbone. So for my lips, I'm going to go in with something that's not too, um, anything too much. So I'm going to start by lining them with Whirl Lip Liner from MAC. So once you've lined your lips, I'm going to go in with Maybelline's Tantalising Taupe lipstick and yeah I really like the way that looks it's sort of like a pinky nude I think it'll probably be better to wear sort of like a lipstick to prom rather than wearing like a liquid lipstick because you obviously can reapply it whenever you want but you don't want to get that like weird rim thing around your lips because like, you're going to be eating you're going to be drinking and whatever so something that's going to like fade nicely would be a little bit prettier in my opinion to then wearing like a super matte really dry liquid lipstick so all that is left to do is some all nighter setting spray if you've never used this before i'd really recommend it i love this stuff and i use it like every day so that is the finished look i hope you really really like it obviously you can change it and modify it to whatever you want but this is just more like a simple like bronzy look that's going to go with any sort of dress that you have it'll go with anything if you're wearing gold jewelry like black pinks reds whatever so yeah i just wanted to show you first of all me using the holy grail palette as well as doing something super simple that everyone can do um, and i also obviously wanted to tie in that sort of inspiration from that kim kardashian picture that i got requested to do so yeah if you like this please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my face is in a little circle over here if you just click that that will be you subscribed and my other videos if you want to check them out will be over here please leave any other requests or anything down below in the comments and yeah i will see you in my next video thank you so so much for watching